We got Jerry Ruth up on the starting line right now. And we got, yeah, Jerry Ruth. He's checking out the starting line to see, see whether, whether he likes it or not. We're really checking out for traction. Nice pair of funny cars come up from uh, That's Jerry Ruth with the hat on there and the blue pants and yellow stripe. Both American cars, are they not, Rick? Yeah, both out of the uh, Seattle area. We were talking to Jerry earlier. He said uh, he was going to smash our uh, track record if he could, there. Well, that's what he said, so let's see what happens. There he's walking away with Mike Miller, driver of the Green Elephant. This is a very important part of racing as fast a car as these fellows do. These fellows sure seem to enjoy this sport, don't they? Oh yeah, they wouldn't be here if they didn't. They got all their equipment in their trailers there. They hauled them up out of Seattle this morning. Raced down in Eugene, Oregon last night. Hauled in Seattle, picked up some more parts, hauled into Vancouver. They race on a local basis in Seattle and come up to Vancouver sometimes, even as far as Edmonton. Which, of course, most of the racers here do. Edmonton's a fine track. And it's nice to try out some of the other tracks once in a while. It's kind of boring running the same track every weekend, week after week. Especially when you run across such beautiful weather as we have out here in Delta. Yeah, if you can find weather like this every weekend when you're out racing, well... Still prepping the cars, there, Rick. These are uh, fiberglass replicas, are they not? Uh, they just sort of snap them down over top of a chassis, more or less like a dragster, do they? Yep, that's right. Well, that's really what they are, short wheelbase dragsters. And, uh... He brought you in there for product identification. The crowd really loves them. There's a green elephant in your view right now. He was 73 world champion. Going up to Winter Nationals two years in a row. They're still getting the cars prepared. They're putting on his fire jacket right now. They protect him in case the engine decides to go south. They don't need any burned body parts. Body's fine, the car body at least, but not the driver. He doesn't want to get burned. Speaking of that, Rick, that's a new regulation as of uh, 1974, is it not? An extra pair of fire bottles? in the uh, driver compartment? Not really sure, to tell you the truth. One thing I know they are worried about is the jackets the boys are putting on there. They sit down, they come up a bit in the back, and the flames are able to get up through the back of the jacket, so they're making them strap them down underneath the crotch next year. Chain the rules on the fire suits. Fast little cars, run on nitromethane fuel. Producing Unlike about 2,000 horsepower. Here goes his helmet. Spectators are waiting for this one. 
Crowd sure seems to have picked up Rick, has it not? In the last yeah, half hour. You seem to be coming in all right. We'll start our uh, eliminations at 2.30. It's about uh, an hour from now. They're still working on that elephant. They're strapping them in right now, getting them ready for the run. Okay, after we run this round of Jerry Root for Mike Miller, we'll have our drivers meeting the lunch break. Our drivers meeting the lunch break after our Jerry Root, Mike Miller, and Matt Bash. Ricking Jerry Root's right lane, green elephant, Mike Miller, left lane. Both cars, super strong. We're going to put on the show for you. We're super kind of generating a lot of noise. You have to watch this start. It's going to be something to watch. This is a pro style start. Two cars are rolling into the lights. Get the staging lights. There will only be one amber, then the green. It's a strictly pro start, one amber, then the green. So as you watch the bottom side of this screen, you'll see just one amber flash, then the green flash. Okay, they're fired up. And here we go, Rick. A pair of real strong cars. He just cars. put the body down the elephant. He's all strapped in, he's ready to go. That's Mike Miller in the green elephant. Jerry Ruth and the Competition Special East Mustang. They're both running big aluminum Chrysler engines. There's Jerry Ruth right now pulling in. Both getting ready to do their burnouts. Yeah, these cars are really something to watch. Here they go, smoke That's them for up. Sure. That's unreal! Did you see the smoke those things produce? Jerry's they really do, doing it again. They do eight-mile burnouts, believe it or not. Eight-mile burnouts. You can't even see the starting line right now. There's so much smoke back there. Here it comes. They're backing, They're backing up. up. They're getting ready to go again. Those guys can pack those cars up as fast as... We take him forward on the track sometimes. Ruth has won just about every race he's entered this year, and he doesn't want to lose this one. This match race, two out of three. Here comes Jerry Ruth and his competition special East Mustang. Jerry, the King Ruth, versus Mike Miller. Green elephants out of the Jim Green Speed Center in Linwood, Washington. Backing them up. Another big burnout by Jerry Ruth. That's some car, I tell you. Lots of, they do their burnout. You can't there. even see the start. Another big one by the Green Elephant. Why they're sure heating them up. They got no uh, cooling system in these. Just the water in the engine. Get them nice and hot. The tires are hot. And they're hot. They're gonna go. Two beautiful cars. They're getting ready to stage them. This is the big one. The 
first match race of the day between two funny cars. Way out of way out, spurt out. Quarter mile! Unreal, but Jim Green red lighter, he loses. Left lane loses, he got to the end first, but he red lighted, he left too early, so Jerry Rowe takes the first run down. 